It is Nina, Lucy, Vicky and John's birthday today. It's a big celebration because they're quadruplets and it's their 18th. We've come to their home in Purley to find out what life is like as a quad. Growing up as quads, you must get asked a lot of questions, a lot of the same questions. What is the most popular question you get asked? What's it like to be a quad? What's it like to be a quad? Uh, it's not really different, <laughs> is it, from just having normal brother and sisters? Except you've always got someone around. I mean, we don't know any different, so it's sort of a hard question to answer. Do you get fed up with actually being referred to as the quads? I'd like to think I'm an individual. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes we get Christmas cards with quads, and, you know... And that annoys you, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And, like, birthday cakes. I think this year our mum's getting us one, like, separately, one each, because before we've always had just one It's birthday. not that way with presents, is it? <laughs> no, 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 I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like growing up with three sisters, being the only male? Oh, it's not normally no problems at all, really. Just the end of the day, don't think about it. I mean, I'm being separated because I sleep in my own room and I don't really see him that much. I'm never usually at home, so I don't usually see him. So did you get any warning that you're going to be having quads? Yes, I was about um, 11 weeks pregnant and I felt very, very, very sick. And I went to see my doctor and they decided to do a scan. And, um, and I noticed everything... All the doctors started to whisper and uh, I said, is there anything wrong? Am I still pregnant? They said, yes, yes, nothing wrong. It's just that you're having four. <laughs> I was a bit shocked, yes, I must admit. So when they were born and they started to go to school, did you decide to dress them up the same or did you try and keep them separate? No, I mean, well, it was too expensive, really, to buy clothes all the same. So if people bought anything for them, then it was usually the same. But otherwise, I used to get second-hand clothes and they... They, I, try, I wanted them to be individuals. I wanted them to, to grow up as their own personalities. I saw an article in The Sun the other day where it was about a Mum of the Year award. And I think that my mum hasn't actually been rewarded that well. I mean, we do praise her sometimes, saying, look, I love you and all that, but she doesn't... I don't think we don't actually praise her all the time, do we? No, not a lot. I mean, I, I'm proud of her for um, what she's done for all of us. Like, because she was by herself, and now she's been mad, and so, so it came out. Now you're 18, I suppose you can officially go to the pub and everything like that, and you've sort of grown up. Um, do you get on better as brothers and sisters? I think it's really just the same. I think, I think when we're older, like 30, we're getting a lot better, because, like, my mum, my mum and her sister used to hate each other, and now they're, like, best mates and phone each other up every day. Mm. So I think once we sort of break away and not see each other every day, then we'll sort of become... Start to miss each other, won't we? Yeah, yeah. You had to share a room, didn't you, up until you were about 16? Yeah, was that annoying? Yeah, a tiny room. That was really cramped. We were always in each other's faces every time, so it was really nice to, like, get It'll get too much, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah. And she was always nicking my stuff. Yeah, and clothes. that's the problem, because we're all sort of the same size. Well, we're so, not now. Well, we're not anymore, <laughs> but we were. Yeah. Me and Nina, the same size. We always, like, take each other's stuff. And did you ever accuse your mum of picking a favourite between one of them? I mean, it, go it still goes on now. Um, yeah, I mean, it happens in every family, doesn't it? You know, when you have an argument, you say, oh, you like her better than me. I mean, no, it's not true, but you sometimes you just say it, like, because you're angry. But it's no different because you're quads? I think it is because we're all the same age and, you know, we're all fighting for our own space. And that causes more arguments, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're all, like, desperate to be our own person. And so competition and stuff, it's hard. Like when we did our GCSEs, everyone kept asking us, who's the cleverest? And, you know, we're all sort of like, well, actually, we're all the same.